Good afternoon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one and only JR, AK Menazer 13. It is motherfucking Monday, 2020, the month of July. July. Why do I say July like that? July 13, 2020, day 13 giveaway. Hope you guys had a great weekend. My weekend has been nothing but long sweat, blood, sweat, and tears. Just, it's just been a lot of shit I've been doing. Helping fix up uh, my brother-in-law's house and shit, you know, construction working and you know, installing a whole bunch of shit. It's just been crazy. It's just been, man, it's just been a hell of a workout. You feel me? And it's been crazy. But nonetheless, I'm still awake. I'm still here. I'm still going to do what I do and that I love to do. And that is provide you guys with another episode, another A13 giveaway. And, you know, to let you guys know what's been going on in my life, you know, <clears throat> despite the COVID-19 still being here, a lot of places have been opening. U.S. now has, I believe, 16 million or 36 million or 26 million confirmed cases. Well, it, I know it has a six in it. We in the millions and we are the highest. And it, it's ridiculous. It's sad. They talking about opening Disney World. Yeah, motherfuckers is crazy. Florida. Yeah, motherfuckers in Florida are crazy. Stay inside. Wear your mask. Shit is nuts. I went to a diner the other day. Last Monday. And, you know. You got to walk in with your... You, 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 when you're seated, you can take your mask off. But, you know, you walk in with your mask. You When you're leaving, you got to put your mask on. But, you know, I was... I honestly wanted to go to IHOP. I got out of work Sunday. Well, Sunday morning, I got out of work. And I was like, oh, it's Sunday. Let me go to IHOP. It was a wait. Fucking wait. And I was like, you know what? Let me just go to this other diner. I went to the other diner. The food was good price was you know it was pretty cheap and you know you get what you pay for i really want an ihop but the the diner food was the next best thing i mean the next best things i could have came home and cooked but i was already out on the road and i was like fuck it i ain't coming back outside if i had the grocery shopping i was not coming back outside so if i was already outside let me just get my food and pounce you feel me but it's hot as hell outside. It was like that day it was like 85, I believe. Or 95. Something like that. But one of those two. Anyway. That still working. Three jobs. Four no, actually, yeah. Three jobs. Side jobs. This. And guess what, guys? I finally did my motherfucking taxes. I'm a procrastinator. Y'all know. I t- I've told y'all this in past episodes. I finally fucking did my shit. Are we getting a second stimulus check? Hmm. I wonder. I didn't, even, I didn't even cash my first one. I did not even cash my first one. I still got that shit sitting on my computer desk. Um, but yeah, I haven't done my taxes yet. I mean, I have. I just, it's a, I, I don't know why I waited for so long. But you know, I was like, I don't really need the money. Now, if shit, if there was no corona, if shit was open, if there was places to go, a vacation or something, possibly I would use that money. But I just saving it just put it there for a rating day or something like that you know what i mean if you guys um and i feel for people who are at the moment unemployed who got laid off because of this and it has to be tough like how you know people got to pay their bills and rent um 
mortgage or whatever, car notes and shit like that. So, like, there's people, I know some people um, apply for unemployment, but I read that they were going to stop it in the next two months, which is ridiculous, if true. And, you know, a lot of people don't have jobs because the fucking virus. That shit sucks. If you have an ascent, if you're an essential worker, you know, well, you know, kudos. But you know what? People guess getting unemployment, they're getting more. They're getting way more money. But at least they're getting money. You know what I mean? You don't hate on the next man. Don't hate on the next person. Let them, let them be. You feel me? Let them be. This shit is ridiculous, man. And um. Shout out to everyone who was in the nursing field, the hospital field. Shout out to every EMS. Shout out to the firefighters. Shout out to the cops. Shout out to the fucking practitioners. Shout out to all the guy that's doing your thing. Shout out to shout out to old lady that's bagging groceries at the grocery store. I remember when I was a kid in, in elementary school, this kid who was in my school, who was in the higher grade. Every day I would see him at the grocery store bagging. And I'm like, yo, how do you, we go to the same school and you working? But at that time, I'm like, he was an immigrant, you know, and he was in a high grade to me. So obviously he was older, but, you know, to see someone I know in school working, that shit was just like mind boggling. I was like, oh shit, I go to school with this kid and he's here bagging groceries. Don't know how much he was paying, but I know people were giving him tips. They had little container and people was putting coins in that shit i was like wow it's never too late or i should say there's really no standard um what's the word i want to use uh for (laughs) fuck what is the word i want to use there's really no it's not too late to start working like if you're 16 I, I don't know some places some states that have different um or the age limit the age requirement for you to work could be 15 16 17 but you know you can still work they got those under the table jobs those summer jobs and shit like that so get your money by any means you feel me i started working when i was um how old was i I think 17 17 when I got my first official official job at a pay stub and let me tell you when I got that job I was like I went in there they hired me on the spot I didn't think I was gonna get the job on the spot because when I was in I was wearing some baggy ass clothes I had Tupac on the back of my hoodie holding a gun and I was like, yo, I did not know I was going to get an interview now. I would have wore appropriate attire. You feel me? It was like on the spot. And then I remember my first paycheck. Recorded a video of that shit. My first paycheck was like $117. I was like, what the fuck? $117? You know, after they took out the taxes and shit, I was like, $117? What the fuck is this? Like, I'm telling you, $117 for... But I think it was because I started working at the back end, ha- the back end of the uh, the pay week for the next check. So that was probably it. I was like, $117? What the fuck? But yeah. And back then, back then, see, now I'm dating myself. Back then, the fucking pay, the minimum wage was super low. I'm, I'm super low. I don't know how. I don't know how I managed to purchase the shit that I did. I bought a computer. I bought a MacBook. I bought fucking mad video games. I bought systems. At one point, yo, I had three PSPs. I had the red one, the God of War red one. I had the silver one. I had the silver PlayStation 2, the Slim. I had... I was buying mad shit. If I would have known what I knew now, back then, I would have saved my money, did in some investments and shit, and just not spent like crazy. Build my credit up quicker. But, you know, it is what it is. 
and it is what it is. I'm still here. Still alive and kicking it. Hope you're still alive and kicking. And hope you guys do not go anywhere. Do not pause. Do not rewind. Do not skip. The Room Zero 13 podcast will continue after this. Day 13 giveaway details. And and I neglected to mention the Day 13 giveaway winner from last month for the uh, Grand Theft Auto Shark card. So stay tuned. Keep it locked right here. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the greatest show on earth. One, six, fourteen, menace one. Don't touch that dial. Room zero thirteen. Room zero thirteen. Back, 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 back. We are motherfucking back. Room zero thirteen podcast episode eighty five. Push. P U S H stands for something it means something you'll find out in a moment <clears throat> Ooh. So I got a frog in my throat now for the day 13 giveaway the day 13 giveaway winner for last month for the Rockstar GTA game shark card goes to Alyssa Lynn from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Now, I was talking shit about y'all Florida people saying y'all crazy, but yeah, Alyssa Lynn, congratulations. Stay safe. I will email you a photo of the back of the card and I'll even type it in so you could copy and paste or whatever. So congratulations to you. I don't know what you want to do with it. You, 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 you your cousin, your nephew, your sister, whoever, blah, blah, blah. You won. Congratulations. You are the day 13 giveaway winner for the month of June 6, 20. You are the winner. Now, we in July. I keep, what the fuck do I keep saying? I don't know. For some reason, when I'm when I'm recording, I say July. Like, July. But when I'm just talking and I just say it regular, like, when I, I know I'm not in July. Anyway, July, May 13th giveaway. Like I said, every month the, on the 13th, we do a giveaway. And all you have to do is be the first one to correctly answer and be the first the first one to correctly answer with your name, where you're listening from, and the answer. Sometimes I may require you to list your cash app because you may get a little uh, deposit if you win. And, you know, and speaking of deposit, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it one more time. $25. Be the first one. And now, listen, $25. With the $25, you got to have Cash App. Download it. It's free. And you have to be the first one to correctly answer in this email. Now, what is the title of the 42nd episode of of the Room Zero Thirteen podcast. What is the title of the forty-second episode of the Room Zero Thirteen podcast? All you have to do: send an email with your name, where you are listening from. That means the state, and the answer. Name on the first line. Where you listening from on the second? The answer on the third, and your cash app. On the 4th. Alright. Good luck to you guys. Good luck. Listen guys. Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When I was trying to get this podcast off the ground back in April. I had so many questions. So many questions. How do I record an episode? Where do I find my background music? What type of equipment should I use? How do I get my show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all other places people like to listen? Where do I find advertisers? And where do I find sponsors? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free. 100% free. Who doesn't love free? 
I love free. Now, let me tell you one of the best things I love about Anchor. The simple fact you have the mobile capability of recording your podcast anywhere, any place, and any time. So if you always wanted to start your podcast, go to anchor.fm backslash start. Anchor.fm backslash start to join me in the device community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm backslash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. Let's go. Okay, okay, good. Okay, okay, good. Okay, okay, good. Okay, okay. Great. We start smiling. This a chain reaction. Smile at your neighbor. Now you're smiling. Passing. Pass for long, now your smile are backing. Cast a smile, now your smile receiving. Good. Yeah, 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 good. yes. This a smile down, y'all. Smiling real good. good. Doing it like you sure. should. Now, the reason why I titled the episode Push, it stands for something. Pray until something happens. Now, um, a family member of mine, my nephew, about a month ago or so, he was... On the verge of death, he was, you know, my my sister didn't know what was wrong with him. His blood level was really low. The hemoglobin, whatever, I don't know. I I may have been pronouncing it wrong, but my mother told me it was low. For for a two-year-old, it was really low. They did tests, and they found out he had... Leukemia. And that right there just like shocked me. It, sh- it shocked, you know, it shocked all of us. But um, he was in the hospital for a month, about a month, you know, they were running some tests and had multiple blood transfusions. And uh, my sister. Had text, you know. And then now we're like it was maybe like three or three weeks ago. My sister had messaged everybody saying, "Hey, um, I'm gonna get some kits, so if you could come to the hospital, so they could see if we were a, a match." Because his brother was only a half match, so and she wasn't a match. His brother, my other nephew, he, he wasn't a half match, so. I was like, yeah, no doubt. Like, why why wouldn't I want to have the opportunity to, you know, save my nephew's life, you know, help him out and just, just save anybody's life in general? I would do that. Uh, and fast forward a couple days later, she gets a call back from the doctors or the hospital and they say, yeah, we, we run the test and we don't see the chemo. And uh, we, you don't see the leukemia in his bloodstream. And they would still need to run tests, but it, they, they don't see it in his bloodstream. So I was happy as hell. You know, I was so, so happy about that. And everybody was happy about that. He's, you know, still got to do tests and whatnot. But if you believe in the power of prayer, it's a, it's, a, it's, 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 it's quite the thing, you know, whether you, whatever higher being you believe in, if you believe in God or not, um, yeah, you know, prayers, prayers can help, it works, and I'm just, just happy about that, you feel me, it was just a big, big sigh, you know, big, 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 big relief, and I was just thinking, I was like, damn, you know, my other nephew, his older brother, is like, he, he don't even know what's going on. He thinks he's like seven or eight. He don't even know what's going on. And 
this little baby he's he's in the hospital getting these needles stuck in him and she gotta be rough man she gotta be rough but we let everything's okay right now and yeah you know life happens shit happens and fuck cancer this is what I gotta say about that fuck cancer and I feel like I feel like I'm gonna I have to I have to go on this I don't know what it's I I, I, I there's something that I have to do like not necessarily a finding myself it's just some personal shit man some you know people you really what 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 is the real definition of happiness what is what is the real definition of happiness what do you what makes you happy what what do you live for who do you live for what drives you? You know what I'm saying? Send me your emails. What drives you? Who do you live for? What do you live for? Are you living or are you existing? Are you content or are you striving for more? Are you happy? What is your definition of happiness? I'm James Robinson, AK Manager 13. This is episode 85 of the Room 013 podcast. Thank you for listening. See you guys next time. Room 013. Room 013.